everybody. Welcome back. It's good to see you. We miss you a lot. Let's get ready to do a circle. Are you sitting down and ready? You ready to listen? You bring your listening ears? Okay, here we go. Ready? Sing the song with me. Come and join me in the circle for a fun and happy time. We will learn and play together in a circle, yours and mine. Listen carefully and look closely. Have good manners and be kind. We will learn and play together in a circle, yours and mine. Nice job. It is so good to see you guys. Let's see, we have a new letter. Our new letter is going to be the letter U. Everyone say U. Are the capital and the lowercase the same size? Nope. Are they the same shape? Good job, they are. U is one of those special letters that the capital and the lowercase are the same shape. So if you can do one, you can do the other. Sometimes the lowercase u will have a little tail on the end of it, but sometimes they make it just like that too. So if you were to write the letter u, you'd start at the top, come down and around and up, just like that. The lowercase letter u, go down and up and stop. If you're going to put the tail on it, then you would go down and up and then back down to the little tail just like that. Pretty easy. Just keep practicing at home, okay? So, let's see. We have lots to talk about today. Let's see, let's do our 12 months of the year. Ready? January, February, March, and April, May, June, July, and August, September, October, November, December, 12 months in a year. Let's see. Yeah. So, let's see. Usually, we come to school on Mondays, and usually you make these movies for Monday. Do I have the date wrong? Yeah, Memorial Day is on the 25th. Oh, it's a good job there. <laughs> Miss Michelle is catching me. Again, we'll slide that down. Okay. So, we're still going to stick with this being taped on Tuesday, okay? <laughs> so, usually we come to school and we start school on Mondays. But today's taping, we're going to have it the day after Monday. So what's the day after Monday? Think about the song. Sunday, Monday. Good job. Let's do the song. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Yesterday was Monday, so that means today is... Good job. Tuesday. Everyone say it with me. Today is Tuesday. Good. So, if yesterday was Monday and today is Tuesday, that means tomorrow is what day? Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Good job. Tomorrow will be Wednesday. Good job, Wednesday. So, oh, before we go any farther, we got to remember to do our flag ceremony. So, everybody stand up and we'll take our flag. One hand at your side. One hand over your heart, standing straight and tall. Say the words with me if you remember. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Nice job, guys. You can sit down again. Alrighty. So, we have our week. We have our month and our, our day of the week. We have lots of counting to do. You ready? Take a deep breath. Remember, deep breathing is always a good thing to do. Get lots of lung, air in your lungs, in your body. Good job. Okay, let's do some counting. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 
14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Okay, let's do our sentence. Today is Tuesday, May 19. Say it with me. Today is Tuesday, May 19. Good job. So, your turn. Good job. Today is Tuesday, May 19th. Okay, well, let's see. We have a new letter, so we have a new song. You're right. Miss Ella likes this song. I don't know. I just think it's cute. It's about this man down here. If you have a mom, if your mom or dad has a brother, it makes him your what? Do you know? You know, if mom or dad has a brother, what is he called? Your uncle. Yes, your uncle. So this song is about someone's uncle, and he plays an instrument called a ukulele. Do you know what a ukulele is? A ukulele is a very fun, small instrument. It looks kind of like a great big guitar does, but it's not a guitar. It's a ukulele, and this is Miss Elva's ukulele. I have not learned how to play it, so I won't play it for you because that'd probably not be good. But this is what a ukulele looks like. Um, they come in lots of different colors, and but they're all about this size. And um, they play really beautiful music. Don't know if you can hear that. Not really pretty when Miss Elva plays it, but it makes lots of pretty music. It only has one, two, three, four strings on it, okay? A guitar would have at least six strings on it, usually. They have three on this side and three on this side. So a ukulele only has the four. So um, if you were here, I'd let you take turns strumming it, but since you're not, you just get to look, okay? So that's a ukulele, and that is what our song is about, and about an uncle. It goes, my uncle's ukulele goes unk a plunk a do. Each night he strums it underneath the moon. Unk a plunk a do, unk a plunk a plunk a do. I hear uncle's happy to tune flowing upstairs to my room. So it's got a few made up words in the middle of it. Um, but let's try it and repeat after me, okay? My uncle's ukulele goes unka plunka do. Each night he strums it underneath the moon. Unka plunka do. Unka plunka. Plunka do. I hear uncle's happy tune floating upstairs to my room. Good. So, unka plonka do, unka plonka plonka do are just kind of made up words, but they kind of sound like what the um, ukulele sounds like. And it says he strums it. So if he's strumming the ukulele. He's using it and doing this. That's strumming. Otherwise, if you're if you're kind of doing this, that's plucking. That's plucking and that's strumming. Okay. So let's try singing the song all together. Ready? My uncle's ukulele goes unka plunka do. Each night he strums it underneath the moon. Unka plunka do, unka plunka plunka do. I hear uncle's happy tune floating upstairs to my room. Good job. So we sent this home so you guys can practice singing it with your family. You have the words. We also have our word for the week. The word is up. It also starts with the letter U. The letter U, P, just a little short word, up. The title of the poem is Up, Up, Up. So pretty easy. Repeat after me. Up, 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 up. The kite can go up, up, up. The 
plane can go up, up, up. The bird can go up, up, up. The balloon can go up, up, up. And away. Up. Good. Let's do it all together, okay? I like bumblebees. Well, I really like what they make. Do you know what bumblebees make? They make honey, and I really like honey on my toast. I do a peanut butter and honey. Mmm, that is a good breakfast. I like it. I also like it in my tea, though, so I guess I like it on a lot of things. So our weekly reader says, busy, busy bees. What keeps bees so busy? And they are really busy. Now, this is a really good picture of a bee. If you look at it, he's got his head and his, a bee has three parts to his body, okay? Has his head, his thorax, and his abdomen right there, okay? So if you see a bee, look very carefully, don't touch him, because they're busy. But if you see a bee, you can look at him, and he's got a head, a thorax, and an abdomen, okay? He's also got six legs. He's got three on one side and three on the other. And that's how you know he's an insect, okay? Some things are bugs and bugs don't have, they'll have four legs maybe, or they'll have lots, like a centipede has lots and lots of legs. Spiders have four legs. So a spider is not an insect, it's a bug. Um, but things like ants and dragonflies and bumblebees are insects because they have a head, a thorax, and an abdomen. Can you do that with me? a head, a thorax, and an abdomen. They have three parts to their body, and they have six legs. And you look here, and on his leg right here, it looks like he's got a big yellow lump. Bumblebee's legs are actually black, but if you see yellow on them like that, that means they've collected a whole bunch of pollen, and they're getting ready to take it back to their hive and use it to make honey and feed their baby bees. So let's see what this says here. It says bees are busy and they are. Over here it says the bees are busy eating. They get food from the flowers. Bees eat pollen and nectar. Nectar is kind of the sticky stuff that's inside some of the flowers sometimes. And the pollen is the yellow stuff that makes everybody sneeze. Yeah, so that's pollen. Over here, it says bees are busy flying. See the hole in the tree right here? And if you look really close, you can see the honeycomb in there. They've made their home inside part of this dead tree. It says bees are busy flying. They fly home to their hive. That's what it's called where the place where the bees live is a hive. Okay. Bees are busy working. See this shape right here? This is all honeycomb, and the bees will make that, and then they fill it with um, the honey when they make it, or the queen will lay baby um, bees in them, and um, the baby bees will grow in them. So this is a very good thing to have. It says, bees are busy working. They make honey together. So it takes more than one bee to make honey. Bees are busy buzzing. Can you buzz? Zzz, zzz, zzz. Mm -hmm. They sound, uh, the sound is their wings moving very fast. So it's not their tummy or their chest or their throat. When we make sound, we use our throat, our, our vocal box. But that's not what the bees are using. The bees, when you hear them buzz, that's their wings flapping so fast that it makes that buzzing sound. I think that's kind of cool. Over here in the blue box, is that a bee? It's a bear. You know what bears like? Yeah, they like honey. Mm -hmm. 
It says, don't bug the busy, busy bees there. Let's see, what's it say there? Most bees won't sting if you don't bother them. So if you don't scare them, then most bees are just busy and they'll ignore you. But if you try and step on them or swat at them, then they get angry and scared and then they might sting you. So we just gotta be careful. And if we see them, just kind of leave them alone. Let's see, move and learn. Oh, okay, this is the part where you get to move. It says, let's buzz like busy little bees. Buzz all around, buzzing high. Okay, you guys can stand up and move your arms like wings, okay? Buzzing all around, so turn around, buzzing all around. Buzzing high, put your arms up high. Buzzing low, put them down low. Buzzing fast, super fast. Buzzing slow, okay, so buzz slow. Now, let's sit back down. So everybody can sit down. We're done buzzing for now. Okay, here we go. Oh, our big word is insect. Remember I said that a minute ago? Insect. It says an insect is an animal with three body parts. Do you remember what I said the body parts were? It has a head, a thorax, and an abdomen. Good job. Head, thorax, and abdomen. And they have what? How many legs? Six. Good job. Six legs. Some insects have wings. A bee is an insect, so not all insects have wings, but some of them do. Count the legs on each of these critters below and see if it's an insect. If it is, when you take, get this at home, you can circle it, okay? So right here, you know what this is? It's a snail. I don't like snails because they eat my flowers. A snail, hmm, does it have any legs? No. Does it have three body parts? No. So do you think it's an insect? You're right, no, it's not. See, we got a ladybug here. Let's see if she's got, how many legs she's got. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, she's got six legs, that's, that's right. How many body parts does she need? Three, okay, let's see. There's a one little head, two right there in the middle, and three right here, her head, thorax, and abdomen. Yep, so is she an insect? Good job, she is, she's an insect. Okay, here's a worm. Does a worm have legs? No. Does it have three body parts? No, I don't think so. So is it an insect? No, a worm's not an insect. Let's see. Here's a spider. Let's see, how many legs does he have? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Spider has eight legs. So right away, you know he's not an insect because he's got eight legs and insects only have six. But we can also tell that he's not an insect because he only has one, two body parts. And an insect needs to have how many? Three, head, thorax, an abdomen. Good job. Okay, well, then we've got a crab up here. Do you think a crab's an insect? Well, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight legs. Nope, can't be an insect. It's got too many legs. Does it have three body parts? Nope, just the one. So, not an insect. Let's see here, here's an ant. Have you seen the ants crawling around outside? They're starting to come up. I've seen a couple out in my woods. Let's count the legs. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's good, it's got six legs. Let's count body parts. A head, a thorax, and an abdomen. A head, a thorax, and abdomen. He must be an insect. He's got six, or, Six legs and three body parts, good job. Now see, his body parts look different than the ladybugs, but they're still three parts, so it's still a late, uh, insect. Okay, now we have a grasshopper. Does he look like the ant? Not really, does he look like a ladybug? Not really, but let's count and see if he's an insect too, okay? One, two, three, four, five, 
six. He's got six legs, yeah. Then you have to look really close. This isn't really a great picture to see the parts of his body, but if you look at one really closely, you can see he's got a head, a thorax, and an abdomen, yep. Yeah. His legs are coming out of the part of him, that's his thorax, and then back here is his abdomen. So you have the head, thorax, and abdomen down there. He's an insect too. So the bonus down here says, what insect is that? What is it? It is, it's a bee. So you would write B-E-E -E there for bee, okay? So that's ours about bees and insects. Ms. Elva likes to talk about and worry about insects because they all have really important jobs to do around our world and they help our plants grow, our flowers bloom. Um, we get um, our apples and plums and cherries and all that stuff because when they're busy collecting all that pollen, they're also helping to um, make apples and, and all those things um, grow really well. So I like my insects. Um, you guys, one of your projects that you're taking home is an insect one, isn't it? It's an inchworm. Oh, I think they're making an inchworm. Hmm, let me see. I don't think an inchworm is an insect. When you get it home, look at it. See if it has a head, a thorax, and an abdomen, and count his legs. And then you decide if he's an insect or a bug. Okay? You decide. Okay, well, let's see. Oh. We haven't done our books yet. We have little you. Yeah, looks like it's raining. It's raining today here too. Let's see what little you is up to. You think she'll find lots of little letter U items for her box? Yep. Let's see here. Little you had a box. She decorated her box. She said, I will fill my box. Good job. First, I will find an umbrella. Why do you think she needs an umbrella? Because it's raining, yeah. But umbrella start with, starts with the letter U. I will run, run, run to find my umbrella. Why did little U get under the box? What is she using it for? She is, she's using it like an umbrella, huh? Why was the box upside down? What do you think? You think it keeps the rain off better? I think it is. Little you found an umbrella. She found lots of umbrellas. She put one umbrella over her head and guess what she did with the others? She put them in her box. Just then, the sun came out. That's nice. Little you put the umbrella down. But then the rain came down again. Little you put the umbrella back up. Yes. Then she saw some underclothes. Do you know what underclothes are? Underclothes are like, like underwear. And t-shirts, like a t-shirt that you would wear under your dress shirt. Mm -hmm. Those are the kind of things, or, or a slip. Sometimes moms will wear slips underneath their dresses so you don't see through them and stuff. Yep, that's what she found on the clothesline. They were getting wet. She took the underclothes off the line. She put them into her, what? Box, good job. Little you took the underclothes upstairs. She put them away. Now I can play under my umbrella, she said. She went out into the what? rain. Good job. I can run through mud puddle. Through a mud puddle, she said. What fun! Then little you found an ugly duckling. The ugly duckling was grumpy. She put the ugly duckling where? Into her box. Do not be grumpy, she said. You will grow up to be beautiful. Just then, her uncle came by. 
Little U gave her uncle an umbrella also. Next, an umpire came by. Can you help us, he said. Do you know what an umpire does? An umpire is kind of the person who keeps track of things in like a baseball game and he can tell if someone's, well, if they're playing the game right. So if the batter is hitting the ball right or if he misses the ball, he's the one that decides if it, it's a good ball or not. We are playing baseball in the rain and we need umbrellas. Have you ever seen baseball players playing with umbrellas? I think that would be hard. Little you said, I have a box full of umbrellas. She gave the umpire an umbrella. Then she gave everyone else umbrellas. The ugly duckling, the baseball players, let's see, her uncle, the umpire, what fun they had in the rain. There's, uh, let's see, there's underclothes and the ugly duckling over there. More words with little u. Let's see here. Undershirt. So it's like your a t shirt that you wear under your dress shirt. An undershirt. Uncle Sam. Uncle. Okay. Usher. An usher is like if you go to the movies and you can't find a seat, an usher will come and help you find a seat. Uh, umbrella tree. Did you know there's an umbrella tree? It doesn't grow umbrellas like we use when it's raining. It just has big palm leaves that grow out and they look kind of like an umbrella. And there's a bird called an umbrella bird. It is really cool, umbrella bird. Very neat. So that's our letter, little U book. Let's see. Uh, Okay, we have one more book. Let's see here. It's called Umbrella Bird. It's umbrella. So we're going to learn a little more about Umbrella Bird. <laughs> Let's see. Umbrella Bird is unlike any other bird. He has very unusual feathers. Those big feathers. The other birds tease Umbrella Bird about his unusual feathers. They think his feathers look like a giant umbrella. Is it very nice to make fun of people? No. See, look at Umbrella Bird. He looks pretty sad. Why is your umbrella up? Ask the other birds. Is it going to rain today? The teasing makes Umbrella Bird very unhappy. He tries to hide his feathers under a hat, but it's no use. His umbrella always pops back up. One day, Umbrella Bird decides to visit his uncle. He hops on his unicycle and pedals uptown. Do you know what a unicycle is? A unicycle is a bicycle with one wheel. So a bicycle has two wheels, a tricycle has three wheels, but a unicycle has only one. You have to have very good balance and practice a lot to be able to ride one of those. Look at those ugly feathers the other birds called as Umbrella rides by. The Umbrella bird pretends not to hear them. He looks up at the sky and just keeps on pedaling. Ho ho, says under Umbrella Bird. He sees dark clouds way up high. Hmm, what happens when the clouds get really dark? Do you know? Mm hmm, it starts to rain. Suddenly it begins to pour, but Umbrella Bird notices that he's not getting wet. Umbrellas, Umbrella Bird's umbrella is keeping him dry. The other book birds look for a dry place. Umbrella Bird calls to them, come under my umbrella. It's dry under here. So was he being nice even if they weren't being nice? Yeah, that was nice of him. Quickly, quickly, says Umbrella Bird, as the other birds duck under his feathers. The birds stay under Umbrella Bird's umbrella until the rain stops. 
All the birds thanked Umbrella Bird. Your wonderful umbrella kept us dry, they said. We're sorry we upset you with our teasing. We wish we had umbrellas like you do. Okay. Now Umbrella Bird holds his head up high when he is out riding his unicycle. And sometimes Umbrella Bird even wishes for a little rain. Now comes the cheer. You ready? Repeat after me. U is for Umbrella Bird. And umbrellas to share. U is for unicycle and underwear. U is for unicorn, umpire, and us. U is for uncle and uptown bus. Hooray for you, big and small, the most unbelievable letter of all. Nice job. That's our letter U. Okay, well, usually when we're wrapping up class, and I sometimes forget to do this with our videos, but usually when we're wrapping up class, we always end with the Lord's Prayer. Remember, if you know the words, you say it with me, and if you don't know the words, it's okay just to listen, but we still need to sit quietly, okay? So fold your hands, bow your head, and close your eyes. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Thanks. Okay, well, you guys have a great week, and we will talk to you later. Oh, and I'm sorry to say, but they've extended our time that we have to stay home for all the way through the end of May now. So, although I was really, really hoping that we'd get to have at least our picnic, it looks like we're not going to get to do that either. So just know that Miss Michelle and I love you lots and we miss you lots and that we hope you guys have a great summer, even if we don't get to say goodbye to you at the park, okay? So we'll see you guys later.